To my extreme left, we have Ankit Dayal. And then somewhat in the middle, we have Mr. Ajay Jainti. Those of you who are seated, good job. Okay, no, I'm kidding. But you guys should. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the real fun's up here. So you're more than welcome to come up here. Thanks a lot. Uh, okay, I'm plugged in. There we go. Uh, big thanks to G5A who uh, take the initiative of uh, having such independent nights. And yeah, polite applause. Woo! Woo -woo! All right, cool. All right, this first song is called Afterglow.
Supriti, can you give me pick up one, please? Oh. <sighs> Thank you guys for coming tonight. I know it's a Thursday. Thank you for taking the time out during the middle of the week. I know you have to get up early in the morning, so we'll make sure to finish super late. So that's the idea. My manager told me not to make any jokes, so. <laughs> but uh, you guys watch the Olympics, right? Okay, I think I, I think I'm in the wrong spot. Okay, fine, it's cool. But like, <laughs> but like, I feel like I'm in the opposite of the podium, so it's really funny, like right in the middle. But uh, it's really nice to look up to my heroes. So they're nice. So it's good. This song's a lot about how I feel right now. Uh, this feeling of being trapped and uh, the song is called Prisoner. That, but I'm not your prisoner Till it departed I'm stealing your heart for myself Till it noted I'm trapped in this pit filled with shit So secluded Send me on country and pray I'm a prisoner
you guys. Thank you guys for this nice polite applause. It's very sweet of you. All right, give me a second. That's much better. Thanks, mom. <laughs> If you guys are standing at the back or sitting at the back and these lovely people are standing up here, why don't you come and join them as well? It'd be nice. It's fine. I know I sweat a lot and it might spray onto you, but you know, <laughs> but it's okay. It's safe enough. At least I'm not doing. Okay, it's fine. I've probably said this story like a hundred times, but uh, I really like telling it. And each of uh, each of the songs I'm playing today, old and new, uh, started somewhere small. And uh, this one started in the country of Zambia. And uh, when I uh, grew up, I wanted to be a songwriter. And then, uh, you know, I thought I'd write a song about my time in Zambia. And so I sat down. I was like, "What rhymes with Zambia? What rhymes with Zambia?" And I couldn't find anything. So this song is called Botswana. <laughs> All right. Ready?
Okay. Um, so this night is, uh, it, it actually, this place is quite special to me because uh, in 2018, I, um, I launched my second album and uh, I played it right here with, uh, with, with, the same, with the same friends I, stayed, I share the stage with now. And, uh, oh, wait, where'd they go? Okay. All right. Okay. So, um, and uh, I'm just uh, really happy to, you know, see how much has changed and how far and wide I've grown more than, wide I think more than anything. But, uh, but I think, uh, thanks, my mom's laughing at that too, so it's great. So it works too. Haha, <laughs> you fat ass. That's good. So, <laughs> so it works well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, um, you know, the whole thing, the whole thing about why I make music and why I even sort of tell these stories or anything of the sort. I mean, like, I hide under a big, massive layer of humor, whether it's fun, whether you laugh or not, but it's your kind of humor. But, uh, but, uh, rest assured, these, all these songs come from a, from a special place, South Delhi. Cool. <laughs> All right, cool. But uh, anyway, this is a song I haven't played live in. Well, I played it last decade. So um, this song is called Humble Bee.
Thank you, guys. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Time to get loud again. So for the longest time, I mean, like, um, ever since I've been making music, I, 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 for those of you who've known me for a while and, you know, or who've ever seen how I work at any point in time, I always tend to work alone a lot of the time. And uh, this time around, I feel kind of happy that, you know, I have a bunch of guys that sort of my own group <laughs> of sorts to sort of like, you know, to sort of sit and work with and lovely. All right. So this song is the being that perfect number of people. This song is called Four. <clears throat> Don't 
stuff, yeah. Don't be afraid to make more noise. It's a soundproof room. There we go. That was nice of you. Thank you very much. All right. So, yeah, again, two years ago in this uh, very room, I, uh, I played this song and you guys are more than welcome. Just sway along to it. It's fine. If you guys are feeling cold, are you guys feeling cold? Is that what it is? No? It's nice to see your guys, your hands and your armpits. It's great. <laughs> All right. This next song. This next song kind of reminds me of... Uh, I kind of wrote, I wrote this, um, I wrote this song because of a photograph at home. Um, it was my father, my brother and I walking into a, a forest in Coorg. By the way, if you guys are at the back, come closer, come on. Don't be shy. I don't bite yet. So it's fine. Um, I don't know about him though, but yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, this song was, uh, this song was supposed to talk about, you know, other times. I mean, like we were all kids once, right? I don't know if you guys ever wondered about the moment your childhood ended. No? Too sad? Too dark? Okay, cool. Stay away. But it's true, like, um, we all kind of go through that moment, but we don't exactly know the day it happens, you know. And it's, uh, it's kind of a solemn moment to sort of think back on and uh, uh, to reflect upon. And so this song is for that moment, for that last day of childhood. This song is called Wild. Catch me 
no longer scares me in your shelter I scream oh, 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 oh. Catch me as I'm Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. Such politeness. Wow. It's great. Give a round of applause for Ajay Jayanti. He actually recorded on the song as well. Today's show is a little nice and special as well because it feels a little like a reunion. I mean, like I'm seeing so many faces I haven't seen after a long time. And, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, so many nice hands close together. Everybody's nice and cozy. <laughs> but, uh, you know, um, coming to Bombay always feels special. And, uh, and today's show actually is, I, I, I called it chapter two and then I forgot that there was an it chapter two too. So I was like... <laughs> It's like damn bad branding, but no, I'm really happy to be here and I love this space and uh, the whole idea of being here was to sort of introduce a new chapter into my music and, uh, and you know, to keep evolving and growing and so today I'm, there's a bunch of new songs. Well, if, if you know the words to them, just sing along, it's fine, it's cool, if you don't, it's alright, but uh, most probably you don't, so it's cool, it's fine, it's cool. <laughs> but... Um, but this song is uh, special to me because I feel like we all write, um, you know, it's all like, it's, we all live our lives as if we're writing our own books and our own, you know, autobiographies or whatever. And, uh, you know, we kind of write ourselves into existence with each of our actions. And this song is a simple display of that thing. <laughs> this song's called Write.
It's okay, sometimes I don't understand him either. You guys come closer, come on. There's a nice little hole in the middle, I could give you some love. Come, come, come closer. There we go. Okay, that's close enough. That's fine. That's good. There we go. We're in the middle right here. Come on, come closer. There we go. Ah, oh, nice. song is more for the happier moments in life and uh, you know <coughs> I, I don't always like to look at someone's life as being so it's filled with sadness or anything there's so many moments of joy and uh, <coughs> oftentimes at the end you always you you, you kind of want somebody to be a witness to you know the magical moment that was your life anyway the song is called obituary <coughs> <laughs> Oh, while you call for the rain, you made me beg for forgiveness. While you call for refrain, you made me thirst for a hunger. While you drank all the wine, nobody asked for this. 
This uh, this song was uh, when I when I got when I you know I had my first job and uh, the, I think the first salary I got I bought like all the equipment you could use to record a song with and this was the first song I recorded with all that equipment and uh, and uh, it was it was just a fun way to sort of try and play the guitar. And so I made the song all with guitar elements. Of course, today I don't have enough hands, so that's why I have these guys here. But um, this song is called Rain. <clears throat>
Thank you guys. I realized I didn't even say my name when I walked in. Oh my god. <laughs> my name is Dhruv Vishwanath. Hi guys, how are you guys doing? Just remembered, oh my god. And this is my guitar, Willow. Everybody say hi to Willow. Some of you have said hi to her too many times, to which she is not very pleased. another new song, new story. Um, and uh, I, I wrote this. Uh, every, every year I kind of take on 30 days of writing a song every day. So I call it the Song A Day Challenge. And uh, uh, in my first challenge, I kind of wrote this song as a small 60 second piece of music. And you know, I put it up on Instagram and I thought, okay, well, I can write this, forget about it later, you know, whatever. But for some reason, I couldn't get this idea out of my mind, and <clears throat> and uh, if you guys uh, feel like singing too, you guys can sing along to this one. It's great. It's a very easy part. All I need, all you guys need to do is just sing. That you carry, that you carry all along. That you carry, that you carry it all along. That you carry, that you carry it all along. Come on close as well. That you carry, that you carry it all along. Very simple part. Alright, you guys got this? Great job. Oh, please. Thank God. Alright. This song is called Carry. <coughs>
the time we spend Time out of change For us there is no more That you carried That you carried all alone It seems so easy To begin again For all that my mind's been given No relation That you carried That you carried all alone Don't you see them sinking the way Decisions may have some or no relation But you carry, but you carry it all alone Enjoying yourselves, yeah? Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, it's absolutely lovely. Come on, yes. Good, I'm glad. So this song. Uh, song actually was, uh, it's probably my angriest song. Metro? <laughs> no. I sometimes go through like really long periods of writer's block and it can be really hard to sort of sit down and write a song and uh, this song I actually wrote after like two, two and a half years of not being able to write a decent song or one and a half years of writing. Not. Maybe I like to exaggerate things. You never know. You don't know anything about me. It's fine. <laughs> By the way, uh, give a huge round of applause to my friend Ankit Dayal up there. Goes to Rohan Rajadaksha. I don't want to leave him out there. There we go. And to my prettiest friend Ajay Jayanti as well. So it's fine. All right. And uh, in keeping theme with the trees that are on the stage, this song is called Jungle. <clears throat> you know, I don't realize they put a riser right below the carpet, and I don't see the boundary. So every time I like try to dance and move, there's this one point. I'm like, whoa, okay. So. Let's hope you guys dance nicely and not fall. This song's jungle. All right. Stop as we wait for the motion to be.
than shade And I'm listening To the end of the day My silence is gold and I'm humble I feel as night becomes all my soul So have you guys seen the film Get Out? Very good, bye. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, but uh, this song, um, I kind of saw the movie and um, you know that moment of when she puts him into the sunken place? I don't know if you guys have seen it or not. But there's just this moment where he's kind of floating in the dark. And uh, this is, I kind of, I, I wanted to write a song about what it feels like to float in the dark. And, I don't know exactly what that's like and I don't know what I just said but <laughs> but uh, but my uh, our sound engineer for today Supratik he loves this song so this goes out to him yeah all right give him a loud applause <clears throat> this song is called dark Prime and now it's time to leave Somebody walking Committing felonies Arrest a soul that doesn't want to leave Where am I going? I'm fine, can't you see? My fears are on my sleeve I'm so lonely And oh so scared All the time to make Listen to all the thoughts in your head But why hurry? There's nothing to it Tell me how did we get so far Then how did we get so far Dark written in the air Giving consolation There's water in my head How am I suffocating? There's nothing left to be Someone came and stole me from this life I never leave Someone came and stole me from this life I never leave
I never leave You guys can sit on the floor right here if you want, by the way. You don't have to go all the way to the back. Come closer. It's fine. It's cool. <laughs> I know you guys have been standing for a while. We've only got a, we've only got a couple more songs left. But um, <clears throat> thank you so much. This song is... Is there anybody in the audience who has, whose name is Madeline or Maddie? No? Cool. Okay, this is Maddie for now. Okay. Um, <clears throat> But uh, I, uh, I, I, I used to have a childhood friend, actually, by the name of Madeline, and she was our neighbor. And uh, she's fine. She's all cool. Just she's living her life. She's about to get married. Really happy for her. It's great. Uh, but uh, uh, I don't know why. It just the name sort of came to me. And uh, sometimes uh, I don't know if, if any of you write, write at all or write poems or songs for yourself and all that and stuff. You always try to find words that rhyme with each other. That's what my father used to say. My father used to say, a poem is not a poem if it doesn't rhyme. So, <clears throat> but for some reason, I kind of like to find the music in the words. So, uh, uh, just like I found, you know, Botswana or whatever, like uh, this, this song also had that same kind of meaning because the name Madeline had such a rhythmical ring to it. So, I ended up writing a song about it. So, this song is called Dear Madeline. <laughs> And do you wander close and not far sometimes? And will you hold me close? And do you matter a line? And not as it's go deep? And do we fall a line? And on the day we meet, do you matter a line? And would you follow me like you were mine? With every day. Passes along the haze Is it natural? Hardly waiting for answers beyond my age Is it natural? Complicated, nobody read it When we're taken, dear Madeline No one's spoken, I wish you were Save me a dance, I'm on my way Is it 
She goes out to my mom, who came all the way from Delhi for the show, so I'm really happy. Yeah, give some moves to my mom. Come on, everybody. One, two, three. There we go. Who is this guy bringing his mother to these shows, huh? <laughs> she has a <laughs> Who's this mom bringing his... Nah, that's cool. <clears throat> but... Uh, It's really awesome to have her here. So thank you, Mom, for coming all the way down. And thank you all for coming as well. This is my last couple of songs. And the songs are to you, Mom. The song is called Monster. All right, great. <laughs> I'm coming closer, for I am about to lie. No, you can't escape.
Thank you so much for a wonderful evening. And uh, thank you so much for being here for our first gig of the decade. So, Back in 2015, uh, I released my first album, Orion, and uh, ah! and uh, yeah, some of the people responsible for it are even in this room. So this is great. So thank you for being here. But uh, this uh, song actually means a lot to me because I kind of wrote it about a nightmare. I'm not going to go into it. It's fine. So it's all. It's another long story. But it's but uh, I think as a songwriter and everything, and as a person who likes to make music because I like to, <laughs> but uh, it, this song this song was just such a true representation of what I thought I could be and become and, and just makes me feel glad that I wake up and get to do this every day. And, um, you know, and this is the reason why we, we're all alive. We, we're all alive to chase our dreams and do special things. And, uh, and, you know, sometimes we go through a few hard moments, but we also come out the other end just that tiny bit harder. I came out just a little fatter, so maybe I'm, maybe something's still buffering for me, but we'll see. But uh, in, in that process, I feel like I've grown a lot. So uh, for this evening, I'd like to thank G5A. I'd like to thank Supratik there at the console. I'd like to thank my manager, Rajiv Rao, who I can't see anywhere. He'll be here somewhere. A shadow in the dark. Okay. <laughs> my dear friend, Rohan Rajadaksha. Ajay Jayanti. And Ankit Dayal. Thank you guys so much. This song goes out to all of you. This song is called The Enigma. Have a wonderful night. Another week has been forgotten in the rain Shine light so bright I can't see the same Another child has come to wander through the rain It's red Jesus I don't have a say I kind of jumped right in My eyes are golden But my feet say still There's comedy Within this tragedy Laugh with tears I The rain And the fire
thank you guys so much. Please give it up for Ajay Jayanti, Ankit Dayal, Rohan Rajadaksha, and I'm Dhruv Vishwanath. I hope you guys have had a wonderful night. Thank you so much. If we could celebrate this moment together, I'd like to take a picture with all of you. Uh, do you guys like to pose with me? Yeah? Cool? Awesome. Okay, cool. I need to come a little closer. Where's Rajiv? There he is. There he comes. All right.